Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to use pH test strips to test the pH of your garden soil. This book was only uh, three bucks and I actually had it shipped over from England. There are 80 test strips here and you can see it provides you a scale. The orange to red end is acidic, the uh, purple to green end is alkaline. And all you do is you use these test strips in, uh, in, a, uh, in your soil and I'll show you how to do that process and you'll get a, a pretty good idea of what the pH level is. <coughs> Excuse me. I have set up here just plain white vinegar, baking soda, baking soda is alkaline, vinegar is acidic, and I also have my peat moss that I've been doing uh, meter testing uh, with. And the pH for peat moss is about 4.5 to 5.5. So to set up the test, I'm using pure peat moss, but this would be the same thing you would do with your garden soil, is you want to put in one to two tablespoons of the soil, or in this case peat moss, into a bowl and add enough water so that it has the consistency of a milkshake. And then when you prepare this, you want to let it sit for an hour and just let any kind of chemical reaction or change from adding the water take place. And this way you'll get a nice pH uh, test measure on it. You don't want to use tap water. This is actually rainwater. I have a five gallon container that I put outside. I collect rainwater and tap water could influence the, the testing of your pH. So to test it, you put in, uh, again, one to two tablespoons of the soil, enough uh, rainwater or distilled water to make the test sample look like a milkshake, and you put in the test strip for about 20 or 30 seconds. Why that sits, I just want to show you what happens with vinegar and baking soda. This is another test strip. This is vinegar. And you don't even need to, of course, leave it in there long. But you can see right away it turns the dark orange color because it's extremely acidic. And on the other side, over here, is baking soda. And when I put that in, you're going to see that quickly turns to the green, blue, purple color. And again, that's just to remember the baking soda, the alkaline, and the acidic side is going to look like this. So the alkaline sides are going to be more green, uh, purpley, and the vinegar sides are going to be more red, yellow, orange. So after about 20 or 30 seconds, reach into your sample, take it out, rinse it in the distilled water or rain water, and then you compare it to where it is. And it falls somewhere right about there, which is pretty close to the range. So these test strips, I think, are pretty accurate, and they're inexpensive. But for about $3, you can get pH test strips to test your garden soil, and you can get a pretty good reading to let you know what you might have to do with your soil come the next growing season. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.